You know the drill. Ultima Dragonoid is the best, but this is cheaper to buy. So let's get on with the review. Iris Dragonoid Ultra was released in Wave 1 as an Ultra Single and as an Ultra Gear Single. For this video, I will be talking about the Ultra Single, but aside from the cores and action cards added, the Bakugan is the same. The Ultra Single comes with the plus 5 Fire Fist Core, which is second to the plus 6 Fire Fist Core for best Fire Fist, and the plus 300 Shield Core, which is the best general B Power Boosting Shield Core. The card included is the 6 cost Pyrus Gear card Pyru Hammer, which gives a Bakugan equipped with it plus 100 B Power and 12 damage. Honestly, with the high cost and negligible B Power boost, I'd rather just spend one more energy and use Dark Fire Defense to get 99 damage. Pyrus Dragonoid Ultra comes with the nice stat line of 902, and for a time was a pretty good choice for a Pyrus Bakion, with it reaching 1300 B Power on the plus 400 Shield Core, which I would say is the absolute minimum B Power you should have for a Bakion on your team. And with its base 900 B Power being the highest unboosted B Power at the time, if you had a spare core to share like a Helix Core or Magic Shield Core, this Bakion can be a real threat. Though now it's outclassed by Ultima Dragonoid and the upcoming Pyrus Dragonoid Ultra and Pyrus Ferascal Core from Season 3. In a deck, I would put it with Aquas Hydrus and a high damage Darkest Bakugan to use as a highest damage wins Bakugan like Darkest Rairazu, which can give its Helix Core to Dragonoid. But since this Bakugan is more of something I would recommend to beginning players on a budget, I would use this as the Pyrus Bakugan for a B Power Beatdown deck with Aquas Hydrus Core and either Ventus Nilius Ultra, Ventus Ramparian Ultra, or Darkus Enoch Ultra for the other budget options. Overall, while this Bakugan is outclassed, it's still a Bakugan with a fighting chance and a budget option for those who don't want to spend too much on Bakugan. At the very least, because it is a Pyrus Dragonoid, it is worth getting for collection purposes. Well, this has been Zionic Blader with my review of Pyrus Dragonoid. What do you think? Let me know in the comment section below, and if you liked the video, hit the like button. Or don't, I'm not the boss of you. But be sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you get updated whenever I upload. Until next time, see ya!